Hi. If you're a kid, or were a kid at some point like the rest of us, uh, or, you invo or you involve yourself around kids, you may find that kids do bring home head lice. Now, head lice, once you start talking about it, makes you witchy. It doesn't matter if you've got them or not, <laughs> you just automatically start itching. Um, we, the girlfriend works at a childcare centre and she happened to bring some head lice home with her. Now, if anyone tells you that head lice don't attack adults or live on adult hair, they'd be lying because uh, we've both had it and I was under the, uh, the, uh, the impression that humans, uh, human adults don't get it and apparently I was wrong. So anyway, I was doing some research on head lice treatment because my girlfriend brought home this stuff called Lysner, which is pretty much a $20 bottle of stuff that's single use. So you'd put it on your hair and leave it for 10 minutes and then scrape the bugs out of your hair with a bug rake. It didn't work. Um, and I was doing some research on head lice treatments only to discover that there are only four or five major ways of doing it. Uh, most of your chemist purchased products like KP24 and a few others uh, are all based on eucalyptus oil or some sort of oil or something that you'd smother through your hair, wait a little bit, then go for a shower and wash the bastards out. The other method <coughs> is that is chemical free is the conditioner and comb method where basically you smother the hair in conditioner because the lice can't grip to the hair and then you comb it through with a bug rake and you pull them out and in two or three days you do it again and you do it again and you basically keep repeating this process until the bugs are no longer evident. Now that works fine if you've got short hair the girlfriend has long hair, and unfortunately for her, um, the conditioner and comb method won't, doesn't work. It's not thorough enough because it, she has so much hair. Um, she'd be constantly doing it and doing it, and it's just not going to happen. Now, so I did a little bit of research on different treatments, and in the US, there's a product called RID, and RID is based on pyrethrins and one other substance which pyrethrins correlate with. Um, by looking at the ingredients list that are on it, I recall the I recalled seeing the ingredients list on something else. Flea shampoo for dogs. Uh, specifically the Exel Pet flea shampoo. Now humans human shampoo is slightly more acidic than dog shampoo. Um, because dog skin is kind of sensitive it's a lot more sensitive um, to ac acidity so looking into the ingredients list that's on the Exel Pet flea shampoo and the ingredients list that is on the MDA sheet for the RID product in the US they're virtually the same thing with the exception that um, in, well, in Australia flea shampoo the Exel Pet stuff can be purchased for nine dollars, and it's a relatively big bottle which lasts ages. You'll, you 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 can wash two dogs ten times out of that one bottle, no dramas. Uh, you get the KP24 or other uh, chemical-based um, flea uh, head lice shampoos. Um, you're talking twenty minimum of about twenty dollars for the for the product. Uh, you know you're talking about something that you have to use a hell of a lot of. Uh, so you're going through it rather quickly. Um, and then you're having to go back and buy more. Now, w when it comes to head lice treatment, the trick is that if one method doesn't work, do something else. Uh, especially when you're using um, insecticides, which pyrethrins are. Um, the, 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 they can build a resistance. The lice can build up a resistance to... Uh, to the chemicals so that if you run through one and it doesn't kill completely you have to change to another method 
Um, but by using the flea shampoo, um, and I, I did this, I tested this on myself just to be sure, um, to because I've got sensitive skin. Um, so when I try um, sort of your your medicated shampoos, um, my my head breaks out in all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, it goes flaky and quite disgusting. So <clears throat> I figured I'd, I'd try it on myself first, see how it goes. Um, and it worked. It, it worked exceptionally well. So we tried it on the girlfriend's hair. And it also worked. Uh, no adverse effects, except for except it does pull the oil out of your hair. Um, to the point where, you know, your hair comes out rather dry. Um, it's like that squeaky sound when you rub, pull your hair through your fingers, you know it's pretty dry. Um, uh, but it, it worked very well. Um, one treatment each, <clears throat> and done. Not an issue at all. And that stuff is ridiculously cheap. Um, I mean, for eight bucks, or nine dollars, sorry, um, we basically sorted both of our, us out, and we've still got more than enough to deal with the dogs when it gets warmer, because we're in winter at the moment. Um, but it was well worth trying it, just especially from a cost-saving method. Um, it, the only downside to it is you smell like you've just washed a dog, because uh, the flea shampoo has a specific smell to it. It's like a clean dog smell. Um, but once once it's treated, and you let it dry off, and you bug rake a little bit, um, just to make sure you've got everything. Um, you can then go through it with standard shampoo and standard conditioner afterwards, and you're fine, and no one will know the difference. <clears throat> In fact, no one ever, no one noticed anyway. Um, but I have noticed that I've stopped itching. Um, now, with this sort of thing, you have to retreat in seven days, so that's coming up. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share this little idea. Um, now, the the trick with this is. Make sure that the stuff you use is the pyrethrin-based um, flea shampoo, and it doesn't have other things in it. Uh, in the image, you'll see the ingredients list. Um, as long as it's those, you should be fine. I mean, the label's not indicated for uh, the treatment of lice, but it does work. They just can't legally say one way or the other. And, you know, it's up to you to make your own decision on this, and have your own thoughts on it but you know if a product works for a certain job and the price is cheaper than buying the commercial product over the from a chemist or whatever i'm all for it <laughs>